Mantra 7 Questions and Answers Question 1 Does thanking the source mean not taking any action? This does not mean that you should take no action. You should always do what is best for the situation. If you are stuck in a jam, traffic or otherwise, find the best way out. The moment you say, thank you for order, you give direction to the positive energies that surround you. If someone behaves rudely to you, the moment you say, thank you for love, you invoke the self in the other person. Their behavior towards you will change if you constantly see the truth, the qualities of the self and they may be forever changed. Even if you only say it once, you begin the process of change. We are not talking about a temporary feel-good situation. This can bring about change forever. Break through all limitations in your thinking and invoke the quality of the self by being the self. When you say thank you, you send a signal to the universe that you see only the truth. Then the entire universe rallies behind you and the qualities of the self work through you. As your feelings change from negative to positive, you know that change has begun through the feeling that you get. But if you focus on the illusionary truth, you entangle those same universal powers and contribute to the creation of the wrong things on the earth. Why do you think there are wars? They are the result of the collective thinking of the entire human race. What is everyone thinking today? What kind of illusionary truth is everyone seeing? War and terrorism are illusionary truths. People see those things as the truth because with unhindered awareness, news companies compete with one another by exaggerating illusionary truths and compound the world's problems. But you can be happy at this very moment. Your bliss is not dependent on others changing. When you see something good in someone, say, Thank you for goodness. Thank you for perfection. Thank you for timely help. Thank you for abundance. This will increase goodness in life, for there is enough for everyone on earth. All the bad things happening on earth can be stopped. All you have to do is come out of the illusionary truth, be it earthquake, famine, riot, world war or terrorism. You are partially responsible for everything happening on this earth. But this only means you have the power to change it. Question 2 I now realize I was cheating myself by focusing on negativity instead of being thankful for the qualities of the source. But why is there so much negativity in the world? The world is essentially full of love, happiness, peace and joy. Observe any child and you will know it to be true. The essential qualities of the self manifest everywhere all around you. Yet, it feels like there is so much negativity. The so-called negative exists to accentuate the positive. The world is a beautiful system to express the qualities of the self. If everyone were to have a beautiful voice and sing equally well, melody would lose its meaning. Because there are those who are non-melodious, there is meaning to music and symphony. If everyone in the world were beautiful, beauty would lose its meaning. Because of the polarity of ugliness, beauty is accentuated. If you take out one polarity, the other is lost. Useless begets useful and without uselessness, usefulness would not exist. Nothing is truly useless. Even useless is useful in that sense. And this also means that there is nothing negative. The earth is a system, an arrangement to experience and express the existential 
and essential qualities of happiness, peace, love, joy, kindness, abundance, creativity, etc. Instead of focusing on the opposite polarities of these qualities, focus on the natural order of things. Give gratitude and accentuate them in your life. Use the mantras taught to you to attain the source. Be at the point of stillness where thoughts arise. At the source of thought to experientially understand the higher order of things. Question 3. Where do thoughts arise from? A saint was once asked, Where the mountains, rivers and trees arose from? He replied, From the same place this question has arisen from. Everything arises from the self, from consciousness. Things manifest from consciousness. Thoughts arise from the source and are processed in the brain by man using his imagination and memory. The more you practice being in silence using the mantras, the more you will be able to understand and appreciate the pure, higher thoughts arising from the source and distinguish when those thoughts are being manipulated by false beliefs. Question 4 So when I am watching my thoughts being in the source, will they manifest? When you are practicing the mantras taught here and watching thoughts are a mere witness, they do not manifest. When you practice the ABCD mantra or next mantra or another form of thought watching, the things that you are seeing as a witness do not manifest. You have already seen that when thoughts are repeated with focus and emotions is added to them, that is when they manifest. When you practice meditation, thoughts are not powered by emotion and hence lose their power. This is true even when you are not practicing meditation. This way, you do not have to worry what thoughts will manifest and which ones won't. It is a good thing that nature does not manifest every thought. That would be chaos. So the secret is to use any of the mantras, techniques you have learnt in this book to first drop the mind and reach the source. The thoughts in the process of dropping the mind are not very important. Once the source is attained, then keep a strong thought of whatever you want to manifest. This is what is creating from the source. The beauty of the thank you mantra that you just learned is that it helps you create the source. First you attain the source and then bring forth emotions of gratitude for the natural higher qualities of the source so that your life can be full of them. Be one with the source and create from the source.